Peace and love, family. Peace and love. It's your boy Chris Enlighten coming back again with some more spiritual fiddles. And today I'm going in on spiritually moving up. Ooh, this is a good one, family. This is a good one. Spiritually moving up. Ooh, when I think about spiritually moving up, I think about the Jeffersons. Well, we're moving on up. All that good stuff. That's what happens when you spiritually move up, family. Things start getting better for you. Your life gets better. You start feeling better. You start looking better. You start smelling better. Things just start getting better. Foods taste better. Things you see gets better. People start treating you better. Better opportunities happen for you. Good luck. You find the best parking spot when you go out to eat. You get free stuff. You find the money everywhere. Money flows through you easily. Uh, doors of opportunity open up when there wasn't a door. Everything, everything you touch is just like you got the Midas touch when you start moving up spiritually. So if you want things to start going your way, you want to be a winner in life, you got to spiritually move up. I don't know anyone. I'm telling you, I don't know anyone that's tapped into a spirit that's losing. That's losing. I know a lot of people that's intermittently tapping in, tapping in on Tuesdays, tapping a little bit at Friday night, Mondays, I'm really going in. And if they tap in intermittently, they win intermittently. But when you tap in all day, baby, I'm telling you, family, you win. You start winning. I remember when I first started winning. I really wasn't winning. But I started telling people I was winning. And I used the collective consciousness of everyone else to believe that I was a winner. And it reconstructed the tapestry of my reality. And my will started to bend my own reality. Now I'm a constant winner. And I'm spiritually moving up. When you tell so many people that you're winning, when you tell the world you're winning, you have to win. You can't be out here talking about winning and someone out there see you panhandling. It don't work like that. I like to up my game and I had to up my spiritual game too. It has nothing about how much money you're making. It's nothing to do with that. Money doesn't equate winning spiritually, family. It feels good when you make money, but everyone making money aren't winning spiritually. You win spiritually when you help people grow spiritually. When you help yourself grow spiritually, when you get a stronger connection with the creator, your higher self, higher divine forces, all sentient beings, all the bugs, the trees, everything. When you see the creator in everything, you see the creator's essence in everything, that's when you're growing spiritually. When you get a higher overview of reality, that's when you grow spiritually. When you're indifferent to things, that's when you grow spiritually. When you check your anger, that's when you grow spiritually. When you see death as something that's beautiful, that's when you grow spiritually. You know? You get like a, a different depth perception within this illusionary reality when you up your spiritual game, when you move up spiritually, family. It's just as simple as that. I can't tell you how many times I thought about like things that I've done back in the past and things that I do now they don't, it's like I'm a whole new person because I am a new person. You become a new person like every seven years, whether you're aware of it or not. Look at a picture of yourself seven years ago. I don't care if you're eating right, working out. You look a little different because you're a different person because your experiences map out who you are. So when you start experiencing, when you start choosing to experience more spiritual things in your life, you're going to be, become a different spiritual being. One of the beauty beauty things about growing spiritually family that they want to keep a secret. So they keep flooding you with negativity so you start feasting off negativity. But one thing about growing spiritually and winning spiritually and upping your spiritual game, you age slower. You start looking good. I'm almost 50 years old around here. I don't look it. I don't look it. I got friends missing teeth wrinkles all over their face, all that stuff, because they're not growing spiritually. They're feasting off of detritus, low vibratory energy, thoughts, and people. I don't do that. I don't even have company over my home. You know what I mean? Because I like to keep my energy tight. And that's one thing that you need to do. Like Eartha Kit and Boomerang keeps it 
tight. You got to start doing that, family. You got to start doing that. One thing I want to leave you with is this, family. Being conscious is the ability to have it, make a choice. It's Everything is a choice. Whether you're homeless or whether you're rich, on a conscious or a subconscious level, you chose that. Everyone you see that's homeless, on a subconscious or even on an unconscious level, they made it an opportunity or, or a possibility for them to be homeless. It's neither right or wrong. It's just their choice. So I really want you guys to start choosing better. Choosing better. Choosing better in your relationships, your vernacular, the words you choose. Choose to stop cursing. Choose to stop drinking and smoking and lying and cheating and stealing and killing if you kill it. All that stuff. Choose to do better. And even if you've done all those things, after watching this video, you should be a different person. Forgive yourself and don't do it again. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Go back and watch my video on Spiritual Defender. Everything that you do, there's an angel or a being watching you and they're recording everything that you do. Spiritual Defender. Go back and check that video. So on that note, family, I hope you got some jewels on moving up spiritually. I feel good moving up spiritually. My wife feels good. My daughter feels good. We're living better. We're doing much better. And I just can't thank the Creator enough for choosing me to be a beacon and a vessel for His light. And you're that same thing because we're all from the same source. And once you realize that we all derive from the same source, there's nothing I can do that you can't do. And there's definitely nothing you can't do that I can't do that I won't do. You know what I mean, family? So on that note, peace and love. You already know what we doing. We out here winning.